Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Custom Adventurous. All right, so today I'll be reviewing the world's smallest iPhone. Okay, so this model is called the Soyuz 10S, so it's pretty much the model of the iPhone 10S Max. Well, actually, 10S Mini for this one. All right, getting right into the packaging. There's an image of the phone on the front of the box with a cool little background. We got all the specs and all the good stuff on the back. Looks like we got two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage and a bunch of other Chinese text that I don't know. All right, nothing on the sides. All right, let's get it open. Pretty smooth opening. All right, then underneath that we have a little insert. Oh, looks like we got a little silicon case right here. That's cool. Oh, even a mini screen protector. That's so sick. All right, get the, just a little mini case. Looks like we have a charger too, USB type C. And we even have a SIM ejector tool. Little silicon case right here. And look at it, it is the phone itself. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. Beautiful. And we also do have a charging brick below that. All right, let's get right to the phone. Okay, let's take out the plastic. Satisfying. This is like a legit mini iPhone. You can put your SIM card in there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty legit. All right, let's boot it up. All right, we have the case on. Looks like it is starting the system up. Very cool. Look at the rest of the phone. Got a camera on the back and everything. It's made of glass and metal. Feels very high quality. This is super small. It is logged in, so. Looks like the iOS screen, and uh, yeah. So I have my friend here, he's gonna help me out, give his opinion on the phone. So my first impressions on this phone, I mean, the the materials seem to be pretty premium, pretty nice, comparable to even like uh, the real one maybe with uh, glass. And then the metal, you turn it on, super tiny, looks like Android on the front. Swipe up, look, iOS looking apps and stuff pretty nice. Bezels are a little large, you know, but it's a small phone, so in comparison, it, it's similar probably. Let's test out the camera here. So the front actually looks pretty good. If you can see through here, not bad quality. Go front facing. There we go. Probably hard to tell what's going on, but from my view here, it's really not too bad. But in that overall, it seems like a pretty solid phone. I know it's mini, so it's more of like a funny thing probably, but it seems like they did a good job on it. Alright, so this is the world's smallest iPhone XS. The dimensions on this device are 3.7 inches by 2.01 inches by 0.39 inches, weighing only 99 grams. This is a fully unlocked 4G phone. It runs Android 6.0 and has a quad-core processor. Alright, let's be honest here. This costs around 100 US dollars, so it's not going to be this amazing powerhouse of a phone. But one thing it does have on all the other phones is it has size. Because it is so small, you can still do just about anything that a normal phone can do. It pretty much gives them a, just an unparalleled advantage against all other phones. It is great for kids and adults alike. But how does it compare to an actual iPhone? For starters, they both have very similar looking apps but for the mini it is running Android. They have very similar build quality with glass on the front and back and stainless steel on the sides and it also has that vertical camera setup. It may only have one camera but it has a flash below that so it looks, still looks pretty similar. The buttons on the mini are also very tactile and work well. The mini phone uses USB-C to charge and there's also a SIM tray with expandable storage. There's something the iPhone doesn't have. Now I'm gonna go through all the pre-installed apps. All right, so now I'm gonna be going through all the apps real quick. Just to show them. Alright, so this is the clock. You run an and the Android clock. Alright, then the camera. Not the greatest quality, but not bad. Gets the job done. Then we got a sound recorder right here. Oh, looks like we have a decibel level on there too. Nice. Alright, settings, just the Android settings. Then we got gallery. The videos I've taken. Then we got a calendar here. 
calculator. And then we got we got our downloads, file manager, we got our phone dialer. Then we got our contacts. I guess it comes with pre-installed contacts. Messaging app, we got a browser, email, music. Seems we are what kind of music we run in here? Guess you need an SD card and you got the Play Store. Alright, I'm gonna try to install some apps and we're gonna see how it runs those apps. Alright, so I installed an app and uh, this is Hill Climb Racing. And you can play it and it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> this is so funny. This is like sweet. You can just pull out your mini phone and you can be playing games. This is so funny. And it runs pretty smoothly also. I really gotta up I gotta upgrade my guy, but I just barely got the game. This is so sick. I gotta upgrade my guy real quick. No way! You can even watch YouTube on there. Let's see how good the speakers are. We'll be comparing the AirPods Pro to the i500 TWS Pro. Okay, so I have a second pair of these headphones. I'll be giving the speakers are pretty loud. They're coming out of right here. The this little grill. And so they're front firing speakers and they're pretty loud. This is pretty pretty sick. Alright, so now I'll be attempting to connect these Raycon headphones to this mini iPhone. Oh also it does have face ID, so that's pretty sick. So I can just unlock it with my phone. Let's see, you ready? Gotta get my face out of the way. That's pretty cool. Alright, see if we can do this. No way. No way. They are in my ears now. This is so sick. I mean, it doesn't sound amazing but I mean it, I mean it sounds pretty good but then at the same time there is a little bit of lag I think that's due to the Bluetooth but uh, I think it's still pretty sick though Ugh, I have to turn these off to, to unpair them all right so this is the camera and the quality it can produce not bad quality hopefully the mic's pretty good Alright, make sure to like, subscribe for more cool content, and if there's anything you'd like me to add to these videos and make them better, please leave them in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and peace!